This league says huge updates are coming to Echo Fighters like Dark Pit and Daisy. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And boy, is it some content, because we don't have one, but we have two. So two for the price of one for this video. And I really wanted to talk about both of them in a very significant light, because one of them is a sequel. Yes, a sequel rumor. This is happening now. And the other one talks about Echo Fighter changes that are supposedly coming to update 5.0 of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, both of these things are, of course, unconfirmed as of yet, but we really wanted to talk about these things because they can spark imagination, they can spark discussion. So let's do that together. And of course, for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plushie when we hit 50k subscribers. And we are giving away this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt at 40k. So we're really, really close to get there. So like this video, press the thumbs up, really helps out the channel and subscribe to block content. Comment down below why you should have these giveaway items. So let's get into the news of today. So what I really wanted to talk about with you guys is the fact that we're getting a sequel to a leak that we've known about for, uh, I, I would say all about yesterday, right? So this leak basically has Gino as a picture and just said informations about the leak. So he talks about the leak of yesterday. If you guys don't know, it had a whole lot of Nintendo Direct stuff that he actually talks about here saying, hey guys, it's me, the same guy who said that Doom Slayer is coming to Smash at the end of the Direct. So watch that video, you guys. We posted it yesterday and it talks about Doom Slayer and the awesome trailer that it's going to be a retread of the Ridley trailer. He says, so there's been some information I forgot to mention. I know it's too late, but let's get to it. Rare Replay doesn't contain any game that appeared on Xbox. However, it will include Donkey Kong Trilogy, so Donkey Kong Country Trilogy, and Donkey Kong 64, Star Fox Adventures, Diddy Kong Racing, and GoldenEye. Speaking of Rare, you guys might be wondering, why didn't you mention Banjo in Smash? Well, it's easy, because according to my sources, Sakurai is preparing a presentation video about Banjo. Kingdom Hearts HD Collection contains 1. Chains of Memories, 358 2 Days, 2. Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, and 3. The only thing I know about the new Paper Mario game is that Luigi will be playable. About Doom Slayer, the only thing that I know about him is his final smash, the BFG 9000, Chrono Trigger, Pikmin 3, Metroid Prime Trilogy, and Resident Evil 2 Remake are coming to the Switch, but for some reasons they're not going to be revealed at this Direct. SNES is coming to the Nintendo Switch Online, I forgot to mention it. Aside from those, there's something weird my sources have been hearing about. They keep hearing the name Gino. They told me it's either a remake of Super Mario RPG or Gino is coming to Smash. Now, of course, there's a whole load to talk about here. So let's talk about the first thing that happens here, right? The same guy who said Doom Slayer is coming for Smash Brothers is also saying Rare Replay will include games like Star Fox Adventures and Diddy Kong Racing and Goldeneye. Now, I could definitely see the Donkey Kong Country trilogy happening, and of course, Donkey Kong 64 is, you know, a logical leap, but having Star Fox Adventures there, that's really incredible. That's, uh, you know, it, it'd be like Nintendo 64 games, SNES games, and a GameCube game. It's totally crazy to think about that as a collection, but actually, that would be really rad to have all those different eras of Rare all come into one package. So I would actually love to see that. I think that Star Fox Adventures is actually a solid game. It's a lot of fun. It's not really that, you know, hardcore of a Star Fox game. And it has some big glaring faults and weird things, but it has charm and it has a cool world building and it introduces some great characters to the Star Fox universe. So I'm all for it. I think Diddy Kong Racing was one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64, just because of the aforementioned, you know, charm, the world building in that is great. The characters are so cute. 
Um, you know, there's an overabundance of stages, but you know, that can be overlooked. There's some really great ones in there. And I loved having a story mode in a cart racer it was super great. And choosing between a hovercraft or in biplane or something like just a normal cart, that's a really cool mechanic and they should definitely bring that back. GoldenEye was, of course, one of the games that we played most of all on the 64, you know, multiplayer matches and all that. So if they bring that back, it'd be weird, right? In a Daniel Craig is ending era, bringing back Pierce Brosnan's James Bond. Um, that's pretty strange. Don't know if they'll go for that, if they even have the rights to do that, because, you know, Rare wouldn't completely own a game like that. You know, they still have to, you know, talk to the Broccoli's <laughs> because they, of course, own the James Bond brand. So curious if that would at all be possible at all. And speaking of Rare, you guys might be wondering why didn't you mention Banjo? He's saying Sakurai is preparing a special presentation video about Banjo. So he basically confirmed this in the previous video, right? He was like, we're not sure if we're gonna do another live stream thing again for the next fighters, but they're definitely doing something special for the fighters. So a video is all but confirmed. So this, you know, makes a lot of sense. Having all these incredible Kingdom Hearts games in one collection is also really cool, and just being able to play them on Nintendo Switch would be incredible. You know, some of these games came out on DS or Game Boy Advance, some of these games just came out on the PSP, so uh, I think it would be very special if we had one collection on a Nintendo platform to play all these beautiful games. And not to mention having Kingdom Hearts 3 there, that is a very big deal. If that ever happens, then a lot of people are going to be diving into the beautiful world of Disney and Final Fantasy with Kingdom Hearts. So he only knows about new Paper Mario game, Luigi, as a playable character. Of course, Luigi has sort of been playable in other like spin-offy titles, but this is really incredible. Um, it'll probably maybe even have a Mario and Luigi type mechanic where, you know, maybe Luigi is your partner, right? Or maybe you play as Luigi in other chapters with his partners. That'd be really cool because, of course, Luigi always had that side quest idea to him, right? If ever you met him in the stories, he even had his own partners and it was like this weird meta commentary on how strange the game was. I totally loved it. So if they go that route with Luigi playable, I totally love it. He says, the only thing about Doom Slayer is the final smash, BFG 9000. Now, of course, you guys could guess what BFG stands for. Um, I really doubt Dooms. Well, Doom Slayer makes so much sense for Smash Brothers in the same vein that Joker kind of does, right? Because it's this third-party character that's been playing really well with Nintendo, and you know you could see it happening just because crazy stuff has been happening. But I definitely think that other characters deserve to be in Smash Brothers a little bit more. I know we don't really like to use the word deserve, right? Because every character that Sakurai picks is worthy. However, I really feel like a character. Uh, from the east, you know, a, a Ninja Gaiden character, right? A Ryu Hayabusa or a character from Dead or Alive like Asumi, they would be great representation of different fighting styles and so unique and cool. And I think that Crash as a Western kind of rep would be insane to have to, you know, fill, fill in that big, you know, mascot basically from the PlayStation era, that kind of style. So I would love to see that happening too. Chrono Trigger he mentions, and he doesn't mention it being a remake, he doesn't mention it being the SNES game because it's not included in the SNES part that he talks about, he just says Chrono Trigger. So is this a new Chrono Trigger? Is this maybe a remake but in 3D? So he says Pikmin 3, Metroid Prime Trilogy and Resident Evil 2 Remake are coming to the Switch, uh, not revealed at this Direct, but he does know about it so he hasn't just seen a Direct. Um, if this is true, he has some inside sources that he does mention. He says, SNES is coming to the Nintendo Switch Online. At this point, I have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, and I do not know why I paid the money. Like, literally, I have the exact same things that I had before I paid the money, and nothing really of note. You know, I don't really care about all the NES games, because I own the things that I wanted on other consoles, and I still have those consoles, um, or I own them as, like, Game Boy games, or even an S, you know, an actual SNES or NES in my, you know, attic or something like that. So to me, that's not an incentive to uh, subscribe to an online service. To me, they need to bring out the big guns very fast because, you know, not being able to play online is a bad thing, but supporting companies that really don't give you value for your money, that's also a very bad thing. So I think that Nintendo needs to rethink their strategy for online. Because right now, as a consumer, you know, it's just not cutting it. I don't think that I'm paying money for a service. I think I'm paying money 
um, that goes directly into Nintendo's pockets and it's just not giving me anything for it, right? Um, a thing that I already owned. So, all right, aside from that whole rant, he's saying there's something weird about my sources. They keep hearing Geno and they told me it's either a remake of Super Mario RPG or Geno is coming to Smash. Of course, people love to, you know, throw the name Gino around, especially like this, you know, there's something weird my sources have been hearing about. They keep hearing the name Gino. Um, so this pretty much reveals to me that this guy's kind of LARPing or, you know, making up stories. Um, this kind of talk never really amounts to something being real. So I admire the effort, but this is where you completely lose me. So um, that was very interesting to talk about because of all the crazy cool games that are coming to the Rare Replay, I think that if you think about Rare Replay and what it would be different on a Nintendo console than on, you know, the Xbox, that will open up a lot of possibilities that I think will be very special. You know, I, I do believe that there's actually a whole lot that they could really do with that if they, you know, open up the possibilities of Golden Eyes and Diddy Kong Racings. So let's talk about the other leak that happened, or should I say, rumor, speculative, I'm really curious if you guys believe any of the information here. It talks about Echo Fighters a whole lot, and I got this from the Discord, so thank you guys so much in the Blocks Content Discord. It actually just says, Echo Fighter changes coming to Smash Bros. Ultimate in the 5.0 update. According to Sakurai, due to popular demand and requests from fans and the competitive scene, he and the team have decided to Kenify the other Echo Fighters. This will also be in the 5.0 patch, according to my source, Dark Samus, moveset adjusted to become more floatier, air momentum and speed is slower, down special completely changed into a move called Phase and Unleash, which cuts damage taken by half. Side special is no longer missiles, it is now the assist trophy move from Smash 4 when Dark Samus spawned Phase and Tentacles. Daisy no longer can have the floating ability, instead jumps higher than Peach, running speed adjusted to be a bit faster than Peach, Baseball Bat uh, actually replicates Frying Pan Side Smash, and Toadette replaces Blue Toad for grabs and Neutral Special. Universal Toad and Toadette now appear in Peach and Daisy's final smash, respectively. Lucina is a bit shorter than Marth and reverted back to Smash Bros. 4 height. New idol animation and Chrom's Soaring Slash replaces her old up special. Chrom updated Repolished Model. Now, the base speed is altered to be a little slower than Roy, and a new counter animation. Dark Pit is now equipped with Pandora's Claws for all smash attacks, and all smash attacks are new. Dark Pit's staff is used in his aerials and neutral aerial. So, Elf has been separated from Olimar due to outrider from fans. Elf now has a distinct idle animation, taunts, victory poses, and character render. SS Drake, SS Drake is now his final smash. Rock Pikmin replaces Purple Pikmin, and there's a meteor effect when on airborne opponents. Alf walk speed is slower than Olimar, Alf has a different up aerial animation and down smash, and it's universal that Olimar and Alf have now four color palettes. Alf now has a classic mode. Ken has no changes, which is funny because they call this Kenify, right? And Richter has slight faster walk animation, and down special can now travel away from Richter, similar to Castlevania Dracula X, and Simon has a new down tilt attack, uh, and he slams the vampire killer in front of him onto the ground. Well, that's all I know. I don't know anything else that is coming alongside Banjo-Kazooie. So this is interesting to think about. Um, it just goes to show that a lot of Smash fans really want big changes in things, especially in stuff like Echo Fighters. They think that they're not special enough. Um, I think this is complete bogus. I do believe that there is an incentive for people to actually create these things. You know, I think it's super interesting and we do that on the Block Content Discord too. We talk about, you know, movesets that we think would be great, characters that we think would be awesome, but this, this is just simply not happening. I think that if you change characters in such a significant way, when people have been training with them, doing tournaments with them, that goes directly against what Sakurai is about, and that's like balance and giving people what they want. And he just made these Echo Fighters because people wanted the characters, but they didn't have the time, or maybe even the budget, you know, the manpower, to actually create unique movesets for them. And you can't, you know, change course after 
you know, five updates of the game. I don't think that that will ever happen. So to me, um, this is not really a thing that's going to happen. But I do think that it's interesting to think about that people really have these unique ideas. But, you know, if characters were getting original movesets, I think that Dark Pit is a really great way to go. Change a whole lot about it. I think Daisy would have a lot more originality to her if she was her completely unique character. And, you know, she is in her, you know, appearance the same as Peach in some respects, but her personality is always a lot more tomboyish. She's a lot louder and she's a lot more playful than Peach. You know, Peach is pretty regal and even in her smash moves, she's kind of, you know, trepidatious in some respects. And I think that Daisy would be a little bit more of a rebel and I would love to see that in animations as well. So thank you guys so much uh, for checking out these leaks. Of course, if you have any, you can post them in the Discord. We've been having a whole lot of fun there. The blocked contest is coming to an end. So next video, I'll actually be showing off who won the blocked contest. And of course, all the entries that were in there because we've been sent some great Smash Brothers videos and three of you guys are gonna win really fun things. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think of these leaks. If you comment down below, you could actually be featured in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you want Echo Fighters to change? So let me know in the comments down below. As for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us by way of Super E Zone 25 saying, I want Nintendo to make a new Banjo-Kazooie remake and like how Spyro and Crash have returned with new graphics. I would buy it. Also, I don't believe Doom Slayer would make it, but it's possible for Master Chief to come in. If Doom made it, I'll be impressed. Well, thank you so much, E-Zone. I do think that it's very likely for Crash to happen, you know, um, but I don't think, you know, Master Chief has a very big shot. If Doom Guy is there before Master Chief, a lot of people are going to lose their minds, but it does make a lot of sense, right? Um, Nintendo should make a new Banjo-Kazooie game with Rare. I think that that's, of course, when you see how much love is going into Banjo in Smash. That's just a given, but yeah, we really don't know if, you know, Microsoft would play ball with that at all. Maybe it will be a multi-platform in terms of Microsoft and Nintendo sharing, but it's really weird. You know, it happened in Smash, and I believe that that's a once-in-a-lifetime miracle. Um, I think we'll fold our hands and hope for a Banjo-Kazooie game, hopefully a remake or a sequel. Banjo 3 would be great to have on Nintendo Switch. You know, a handheld Banjo game would go a very long way to make fans you know, um, apologize <laughs> for all the bad things that they've said about the franchise in the past years. And of course, Banjo coming to Smash, that already makes up for a whole lot of it. So thank you so much for your comments, Super Ezo 25. And thanks everybody for commenting. These are always a ton of fun to read and to get through. And of course, a huge shout out to everybody last night who is on the stream and donated to the Super Chat. And of course, everybody on Patreon who donates. You guys make block content absolutely possible. So if you want to decide what the next video is about, just go to patreon.com slash blocked content. And if you decide to become a patron, then you actually get your video idea created on the channel. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting for you. So remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, click that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. We're looking for moderators on our Discord, by the way. So if you're interested in becoming a moderator of the official blocked content Discord, then send us a message over at Discord. The link is in the description. Anyway, I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.